What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. New week, new video, same Peyton. Today's video, I'm going to be answering your questions. Over the week, I put stuff on my Instagram and whatnot, asking questions for you to ask me questions, and I'd answer them and put them in a video. So, I got my replies, so I got my questions, so yeah, let's do this. But before we get started, let me just say, for all you new people out here watching this video and ain't seen my channel, how about go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And regardless of if you're new or if you're not, always hit that like button. And with that, let's answer some questions. Alright, question number one is, what am I studying? So, yeah, I go to ECU, great school, where I am studying communications. That is my major, basically. I just want to be on TV. That's about all I really want out of it. Call some sports, do whatever. So, as long as this face is on TV, that's, that's what I really want out of it. So, yeah, I'm studying communications. All right, the next question is, do I have any hidden talents? And I guess, really, the only talent I have is I can play guitar. Um, it's about all I can really think about. I've, I've played guitar for, like, 10 years. So, yeah, I can play guitar. All right, the next question is pretty deep. I ain't going to lie. It's, if I had to go back and change one thing, what would it be? So, if I had to go back and change one thing, um, I probably would just, like, I don't really know. I don't really regret a whole lot. So, going back and changing mess is something I really don't think about. So, yeah, I, probably, I mean, I don't really have too much regret, so I don't think there's anything I, I really could go back and change. Okay, next question is, why is a rainbow called a rainbow? Um, to be honest, I don't know. Why is the sky blue? I mean, crazy, man. Next question is, is it normal for someone to want a trailer full of cats? Um, for everyone out there, I, no, it's not normal. Um, but unless you're my cousin who wrote this question for me, um then yeah, I guess for for my cousin, it probably would be normal. I would not be surprised for that one person. So, yeah. All right, this next question has to have a little bit of backstory to it, but when did your dream of becoming a garbage man transform into a sportscaster? So, sounds a little wild. Let me break it down real quick. Um, when I was like a little kid, I mean, we all had like, you know, those jobs we wanted to be when we, you know, get older. Um, I just happened to want to be a garbage man. I thought the truck was pretty cool. How like the little claw would like grab the like trash can and drag it over and just dump it all out. I thought for whatever reason that it was kind of cool. But yeah, once again, my cousin wrote this, one of my other ones. And she was unfortunate enough to be with me when I was being babysitted. And I would always make a big deal out of when the garbage man showed up every Tuesday. So... Yeah, but when did it transform from Garbage Man to Sportscaster? Well, Garbage Man was when I was like four. And Sportscaster was when I'm, you know, 18. So somewhere somewhere in there, I, I quit wanting to pick up trash and started wanting to call sports. All right, next question. Keeping it with sports and calling things. When we broadcasting together? Um, that's a good question, man. If you can get me out to Virginia and get me... Get me onto something with you, yeah, man. I'm all I'm all kinds of down for it. That'd be super cool. So, whenever we can get something worked out, let's do it. All right, another question here: Can I do a meet and greet for all of my fans? I've been dying to meet you. That's that's funny. Um, first off, I did not know I had fans like that. So let me thank you for being a fan like that. Um, that'd be cool. I think I should do that. It'd be a pretty funny video if I could, like, surprise people that way. So, yeah, let's do it. Meet and greet all my fans, if I have fans, other than just this one person. So, let's do it. All right, this next question is pretty good. Um, it's pretty funny. Another backstory. Um, what do I think of Lil Weast and Substandard? Um, so, a lot of people do not know what I just said. Uh, fun fact, my little brother is a rapper. Um, he goes by Lil Weast. That's his rapper name. And his label is called Substandard. And it's just a group of his friends. So, what do I think of Weston? First off, he's more famous than I'll ever be. Um, 
so many people know his music. You can find it on iTunes, all that. You know, like, yeah, you can find it everywhere. He's, yeah, he's global. Um, I think he's good. He's like, he's stuck to that for a while. So, yeah, I'm going to give him a shout out on my less popular channel. I mean, he's got, he's got me beat by so much. So, yeah, I think, I think he's got a lot of good things going for him. Luis, Luis. All right, so last question is, are you ever going to make merch? Um, that's a great question. So I do plan on making merch, uh, the short and sweet of it. Um, I want to get subscriber count up first off. Um, but I have people that already have told me they want me to make merch. They would buy from me. So, yeah, I got really good ideas for it, but... I mean, it's not anything soon. It'll be done definitely before the year's over. But, yeah, I'll have some shirts ready. So, I mean, got to keep them nice. They're going to be comfort colors. I'll go ahead and spoil that surprise. They will be comfort colors whenever I make them. But, yeah, Peyton the Pirate, I'm going to make some merch. But, anyways, that's going to conclude this video. I'm Peyton. You've been watching Peyton the Pirate. Everyone out there, hit that subscribe and like button. New videos every Sunday. Just saying it in all my videos now. So yeah, be sure to be back next week. But anyways, Peyton the Pirate, like I just said. So yeah, you know the drill. We'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching.